Uh, well, you've caught me in an awkward time. I'm, uh, I'm expo- <laughs> I'm smuggling myself another panda. Jack Black needs a mate. We need to start breeding pandas. Uh, this one's like a worried panda or something. I don't know what he's crying about. I saved you from the bamboo forest, man. You're about to join me in my super awesome zoo. My vegan zoo. I'm a vegan. You should be happy about being saved by me. I started playing three hours ago. Went and got myself another panda. So I've already been playing Minecraft for three hours. But I have secured myself another panda and we can begin our panda repopulation efforts and save the species. I hope Jack Black wants to mate with this panda. This panda is just crying all the time. A wimbo way, a wimbo way. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the panda cries tonight. Someone made me a texture pack and it's made some changes to Minecraft. I don't think I'm gonna always use the texture pack, but it's definitely funny. Welcome to the giant, um, I actually can't say that word anymore. I got told by YouTube I, I can't say that word anymore. Oh, but it's implied. You guys can figure it out. So, the problem with this panda here is because it's a sad panda. It, like, it runs away from me. No, come here. Come here. It still follows me if I got bamboo, but it's just so slow. Stop being so sad. Bro, it's not every day a panda gets to mate with Jack Black, all right? You should be on it. You should be excited, panda. You get to mate with Jack Black. Okay, the panda's in the water. God, I wish I managed to grab like literally any other type of panda. I wanted a different type of panda. I wanted a diverse panda species. Why couldn't I get any other type of panda than this sad panda? You're gonna have so much fun in your enclosure. You're gonna make so many babies. Don't you want to meet Jack Black? I hear you're a big fan. Come on. Now I know why species goes extinct because scientists just give up trying. Because it's just too much effort. I'm on it. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Come in the enclosure. Yes, 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 queen. Look at you guys. You are so cute together. I'll fix the enclosure in a minute, but first, look at these beautiful pandas together. They made a baby already. Oh. I didn't even get to name the female yet. Jack Black, you move quick, dude. What a cute baby. Um, so we'll make more panda babies in a second. Um, look at that. Someone made a mod pack. From they put they put my face on, on melons. Even that, that might be too many face, laser faces even for me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I, I appreciate your efforts. Uh, I'll give you a big shout out in the, in the comments. But like, I feel like you've ruined the sanctity of melons. Like, it just gets a bit excessive when you look at the giant melon. I love my face, but it might be a bit much. They made the dogs look like Willy. They're so, he's so cute. They also put my logo on every bed. Um, they changed pumpkins to look like melons that say, Haha, <laughs> Alex. Also, Alex has apparently set us up a giant dungeon, but apparently it's it's insane. So I'm like, I'm thinking maybe I'll keep that for a few episodes when I got all my gear. All right, there's even more. There's even more. You wait, you wait. Oh, they're raiding my village. I just real. What the hell? What the hell, bro? You raiding my village? You raiding my village, brother? That's what I thought. No one attacks D Town. I can't say the real word anymore. No one attacks D Town. They're gone. But gone! No one attacks D-Town. You thought you could raid D-Town. I'm gonna lure this guy into the uh, into the Thunderdome. Come to the Thunderdome, buddy. Yeah, okay, come on. They are. Uh, they changed one of the uh, the textures in the Thunderdome. That's why I want this guy here. Ah, uh, we got him in the Thunderdome. You ready for this? You see that? Uh, so they are. Uh, they changed the texture of TNT to be demonetizable TNT. Let's go demonetize this raider, eh? You ready? Yeah. Get demonetized, dude. Get to monetize, bro. <laughs> oh, God, that was great. Oh, there's more raiders. God damn it. My health is so low. Don't die. I have so much experience. I don't want to lose it. Are you serious? God damn I had so much XP from AFK fishing. I didn't realize that because I have my own village now, I can get raided. Oh, lucky I got this super sweet bow because, like, I've died like three times fighting these guys on the ground. Yeet. Yes! I'm so over being raided. No, there's more. When is this raid going to end? I'm running out of melons, dude. I was just trying to show you guys the laser beam texture pack, and look what's happening. Oh, here they come. Oh, there's a bull thing, and it's being ridden. Oh, my God. Get back, she-beast. Oh, my God. This bow is insane. There's no way I'd win this fight on the ground. There is no way I'd win this fight on the ground. From now on, I'm doing all these raids with just the yeet bow. Look at this thing. It's absolutely shredding. Wow, this guy's a this guy's got some speed. Look at this dude. How am I this guy snorted some G fuel or something? What's he doing? 
Please let that be the end of the raid. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so over it. Yes, the raid is finally done. That's what you get for coming to the D town, bro. Can't say the name anymore. Got to be Disney Channel A's, man. That was literally 25 minutes of me having to fight a raid. Hey, at least I got like five. I got a totem of undying. I'm not really sure what that does, but I really underestimated how good this bow is. Like I used it on the Ender Dragon. I would have died like a hundred more times if not for that bow. It's the hero of D town. Praise be. Praise be. Oh, 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 it's night time. I can keep showing you the mod pack. Hey, go on, panda. Oh, it, the panda grew up. That's how long I was fighting that raid for. The panda has grown. All right, I, I found the thing I needed to find. Have, are you ready for the for my favorite part of the texture pack? What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, I mean, that's cool. We love we love music, but um, yeah, so they put... <laughs> They put Elliot's face on the damn zombie. So now every time they chase me, I can't help but say, What's going on, guys? Oh, I'm sorry, Elliot. We love you. We love you, bro. But like, I had to put you down, dude. I had to put you down. I had to put you down. Oh my god! Good morning, Minecraft gamers! Uh, no! 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 I, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Elliot. I'm so sorry. All right, I'm ready to play the stonk market. Let's go. Who wants to sell me stuff? The funny thing is, um, they couldn't actually fit in their in their D houses before, so I had to uh, I had to build these like growths on the on the sides. Um, who can I sell stuff to straight away? Uh, who can I sell you some stuff? Yes, I can sell him coal. So let's uh. Let's make some serious emeralds, dude. Oh, look at my emeralds. So many stonk. So yeah, as I make more trades, they obviously level up and get more stuff to sell. So over time, I'm going to have to level all my guys up, get all the perfect uh, trading options, and we will make so many emeralds. Level up! Level up! This guy's a librarian. He'll sell me... Oh, I can sell him paper. Yeah, that's why I got some paper. He'll sell me magical enchanted books once I level him up. What the hell have you guys been doing in here? You've been popping out a whole bunch of babies. Oh, and you guys can leave. You guys can join the real world now. Yes, I can sell this farmer wheat. This is what I wanted. These guys always make me the most money. Yes. Yes. And I can make so much more wheat. You ready? Oh, my God. Yes. So many emeralds. I want to level this farmer up, so I'm spending tons of emeralds to level him up just to buy apples. Apples are a good vegan food. I, that's Yes. Buy melons for emeralds. The stocks are unlocked. Oh, I knew you'd make me so much money someday, boy. Does it pay to be vegan? We will now turn melons into emeralds and become melon billionaires. Look at that money, honey. Oh my god. Look how fast he levels up when I sell him the melons. This guy appreciates proper vegan melons. All right, let's keep... Uh, oh, he's, he's a master farmer now. This is good. This is good. So this is why we want multiple farmers that can buy all my melons and I can make some insane emeralds. So that's just like, that's just like the basic system. We're going to make this far more advanced. I will turn melons into emeralds and then emeralds into diamond armor. As much as I love that mod pack, it's just like... It's just confusing me. It's just... The melons are back to looking pure. I mean, as good as they looked with the laser face on them, now they look pure. So we've been raided, right? So I'm like, I want to protect D-Town. The yeet golem down there, mate, he's doing a good job. He's solid. But like, I want to build a moat, you know? Like a, the 14th century moat. I'm going to fill the entire moat with uh, with pandas. They were once an endangered species, but my pro top quality breeding program We'll cover. Like, I, I, I want to. I'm gonna dig a. I'm gonna dig a full blown moat because I got this good shovel. This this shovel is insane. It is a machine gun. It's a machine gun shovel. My excavating dirt used to be so hard. Look at me now. I'm just saying. Like imagine you're a bunch of raiders and you rock up and you see a moat full of pandas. Not even a raider is vicious enough to kill a panda. And even if they try, mate, the pandas will tear him limb from limb. Oh, I'm just also making it impossible for monsters to get up on this side of the moat. I love this shovel. I love this shovel so much. Next, we need to uh, we need to fill the trench with lots and lots and lots of bamboo. Just lots and lots and lots of bamboo. Apparently, I'm being attacked by a zombie horde. Good thing, good thing, good thing these still don't look like Elliot, man. This would be really traumatizing. I have put a too high wall all around the moat, so that way, while the baby pandas are growing, they should be safe. I'm not worried about when they're big old adults. Like, there should be enough angry pandas to keep them safe. All right, uh, before I take you to the trenches, I've got to give you guys names. All right, this is the scared panda, so... Your name is Jacqueline Black. 
the wife of Jack Black. And then there's mini Jack Black. This way, at least, like, I should know the original pandas, the OG pandas. Follow me. Follow me and my bamboo. Come on. Come on, all of you. Look at my little, look at my little panda herd. What do you mean, endangered species? Don't worry, ladies, beam the vegans here. That was disgusting. You're a disgusting creature. Come on, Jacklet, stop being ridiculous. Jacklet, stop being ridiculous. Come on. Down in the trench. Come on now. Come on now. Get in the trench. Come on. Come on, guys. Get in the trench now. Come on. Good job. Come on, Jacqueline. Come on, you can do it, but yes, good girl. Now our panda moat begins. Yeah, so it's going to be really slow to start with because obviously you only get one full-grown panda every 20 minutes. But with my ingenious panda technologies, we will soon have a giant panda moat. Just to speed up the breeding and keep them close together, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the trench off at this, like, halfway point. Keep them contained in here. Jacqueline, go breed. Go breed, Jacqueline. They can see they're ready to breed. Let's go. Let's get breed. I want more babies. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, make more babies. Yes. That's what we love to see. Our panda population is growing strong. Endangered species who? Oh, we got more big pandas. Yes. Pandas eat. Eat pandas. Make more babies. Yeah, we got two more babies. Now we got six pandas. They're multiplying in just insane numbers. Dude, there's so many baby pandas now. We got four baby pandas. I'm not lying to you. The more pandas we get, the faster our panda production gets. Yes, pandas. Yes, pandas. Yes, oh, start loving pandas. Pandas, start loving. Start making more babies. I want to see more baby... Oh, my God, there is a horde of baby pandas now. Who said Laser Beam couldn't run a zoo? I'm a modern-day Steve Irwin. I'm a leader in panda conservationisms. I want to change how D-Town looks. Like, I, I love the structures themselves. It's just because like, when I originally built it, I didn't build them big enough and I didn't organize it correctly. Nah, I've been watching lots of Minecraft tutorials and stuff, especially a guy called Pixel Rifts. Nah, it's just everyone seems to have way more organized than me. Make, seems to make the system way more efficient if, you just got, if you're organized. So it's still going to be D-Town. I'm just going to reorganize a little bit. I've got to do something while I wait for these pandas, so I've now destroyed... The entirety of D-Town. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh my god, we got a brown panda. After all these babies, we got a, we got a brown panda. They're so rare. Yeah, our moat is starting to get thick. And the new D-Town is uh, coming along nicely. It's taking some work, but it's going to be so much more efficient. Yeah, so, like basically my goal with D-Town is to make it so I never have to do anything again. I can just trade between everybody and um, I'll have infinite everything. And it'll all be protected by pandas. Wait, look at that. Look at the angry baby. That's an angry baby panda. <laughs> this panda moat is getting thick. Can't even, can't even reach them all anymore. Look at all them love hearts. Every time you breed the pandas, there's more babies. And then every 10 minutes they grow up. So they make more babies and it gets exponential. And all of a sudden you got a tsunami of pandas on your hand. I think it is about time we let you guys go free. I will release you into the rest of the moat. Go free, my pandas. Go free. They will slowly fill up the entire moat. And no one will ever attack D-Town again. Because, like, no one's ever going to attack a panda. They're too cute. Look at all those babies. How did the villager get in the panda moat? I don't know if you'll if that, this will end well for you. I think I've just fed a villager to the pandas. This wasn't supposed to happen. But it is a good example of what's going to happen to pillagers. Oh, no. The pandas got him. <laughs> I mean, they've already pretty much, like, filled up the moat. It's just, like, I want to make it more dense. Super dense moat. Look at these guys. You guys think you're going to invade? No, you didn't even make it to the pandas. Ho, oh, oh, ho, boys. This is looking like a thick, thick moat. I, I have a bamboo farm over there, and I'm just, I just walk along, and I just feed the old boys. And yeah, they just keep popping out the cubs. It's actually not taking as long as I thought. Every, every five, ten minutes, I get to make another, like, 50 cubs. <laughs> they make it look so hard in real life to breed pandas, but all you got to do is get some bamboo. Wait 10 minutes and you get a new cub. Oh my god, it's an Elliot with a shovel. You might not have his face anymore, but you're still called an Elliot. How about we all like this video because Laser Beam saved the panda population. Yeah, what are you doing over there, man? You rolling my mallets? Hey, get off me mallets! Or I'll send the pandas after you. Yeah, let's breed some more pandas. Let's keep breeding the pandas, guys. Come on now. Well, we, you guys have heard of breeding bread, but have I told you about breeding bamboo? Yes, it is my new product. <gasps> what? What is happening? Oh no! That panda grew up inside the wall. <gasps>
the panda grew up and it was inside the wall. I'd be I'd be a lot sadder if pandas were still endangered though. All right, time to get some more bamboo to breed my pandas. Yeah, it's the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, you're getting goosebumps? I'm getting goosebumps. I should do this for all endangered animals. Can you get rhinos in Minecraft? I'm, g I'm about to save rhinos from extinction. Remember how it took me three hours to get one panda and then three hours to get my second panda and now I have a thousand pandas? Yes, look at it. The panda moat is done. It is a thick moat of black and white. There is no gap in the panda moat anywhere. No one will ever dare attack D-Town again. I started this video at 9 a.m. It's now 6 p.m. <laughs> uh, but it was worth it. Because I bred all them pandas. And we've been improving D-Town this entire time. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to keep focusing on now that the Ender Dragon is dead. I'm just going to keep improving the home base, keep improving D-Town, make some dumb crap like the Thunderdome. And the plus side is I'll never have to mine again. Because I'm just going to have these guys doing all the work for me. Keep eating that breeding bread, guys. Keep eating that breeding bread. Yeah, I've got, like, lots of jobs to fill now. I've got, uh, toolsmith, farmers, armorers, weaponsmiths, fletchers. Uh, there's going to be brewing stands here, and there's going to be shepherds here. Like, these guys will sell me enchanted books. These guys will buy all my sticks for emeralds. Yeah, see? Look at that, look at them stonks. These guys will make me armor. Also, they'll buy coal for emeralds, so like they're pretty dumb. Uh, what's this guy do? Uh, this guy's the toolsmith. He also buys coal for emeralds. My farmers will buy my melons for emeralds. And then I can use those emeralds to buy everything from every other trader. My god, I'll never have to work again. D-Town is now efficient. It is smart. We have upgraded it, and we have made it safer than ever with my panda moat. I don't think anyone's ever actually created more pandas than this in survival. But yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could knock this many pandas out in about ten seconds in creative. But to do this in survival is truly an impressive feat. Oh my god, look at it from up here. <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. Like, you think about the effort to get the first two pandas. The effort to sit there and breed them for hours and hours. I, I'm, I'm glad it gave me time to upgrade D-Town, but like, as you can see, some of the pandas are starting to escape. We've reached critical mass. Look at my base now. Like, you can't see the big D, but like, see my melons, see D-Town, see the pandas, see the Thunderdome. See the giant melon. Easy as, boys. Just another day in Minecraft. Yay!